Hey, what is up guys? It's Tammy Real. Welcome to the first Monster Hunter tutorial video. And this video is more catered toward beginners because as a beginner myself, getting into this game was a little difficult. And it was a lot of stuff that I was trying to figure out by myself. So this video is to help those and also maybe some veteran players that haven't had too much time exploring the village and maybe missed a few things because there is a lot of stuff that is here. But before we start this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite weapon. I am mainly a hunter horn main, but I'm going to be playing a few things like the long sword, heavy bow gun, stuff like that as well. But let's start off in this village. The first thing that you need to know is that the merchant is right here in the center. And the merchant, you can buy your potions, you can buy your antidotes, you can buy all the things that you're going to be needing to craft stuff like your bombs your arrows, your ammo. One of the more important things that you can buy this merchant is once you do finish your village quest, it will unlock the power charm and the armor charm, which is extremely helpful to buy when you have the monetary resources for. Now the next important thing is right here, this is your village quest hub. You can go off for all your village quest tiers, your rampage quest, you can activate them, go from level one to level six. Right now is the, uh, the highest of the village quests. All the monsters that you could be hunting solo, it is located here. Now, the main important thing for this section is do not forget your subquest. Your subquests have quests that you can do throughout your missions, like gather mushrooms, hunt these small monsters, defeat the high rank monsters, and they provide armor spheres. Armor spheres is really important for later on when you need to upgrade your armor. Now, speaking of upgrading your armor, let's come by to the blacksmith. The blacksmith is the place where you can access all your weapons, unlock your weapons, go through your weapon tree. The weapon tree is quite extensive, and it goes go through a, a, a lot of different options that you may have. So once you defeat the monsters that you can farm for those weapons, you will be able to unlock it. You can come here and look at all your equipment as well in this, in this view, edit all your gear, edit your equipment that you're wearing. You can ramp up your weapons here, you can customize your bow guns, you can forge your armors, which was speaking about earlier with regarding your armor spheres. This is the area where you can use to apply those armor spheres. So it's really good to make sure you select your subquest early on to collect as many armor spheres as you're going to need. So then later on you can upgrade your armor at will. Now as we're moving through the town, then these are all NPCs that you can talk to to unlock different quests. They will interact with you and have a little speech icon above you once the quest is available. This is the buddy board. Buddy board, you can access your buddies and there is an item box out here for you to access your inventory from out in the main village. From your item box, you can also craft items and manage your inventory. Now this is the courier. The courier allows you to access your friends list to play online to join your friends party. This is the area you come to if you want to start up a party and join your friends or have your friends join you. Now the next area that we're coming to is the main co-op hub. In this area, you can access your co-op missions that you, you and your friends could do or you could do join online co-op missions to complete these monsters in a four-person hunt. The quest board is the area you come to to join other people's parties. You can join into random co-op groups via this. arena quest npc that you can um, access arena quest or they will also offer you quest every occasionally throughout the story now the main area here is going to be in the canteen is going to be the dongos the dongos allow a power up prior to your hunt that gives you certain boosts it is really important that you come here and make sure you eat prior to farming a monster or going to hunt a monster since they will provide you with certain hunts you can set your own sets of dongos that you normally eat and boost that you normally want. Now the next area you can go to is right up these stairs here that allows you to access the blacksmith from inside the sub area. What can I do you for? Until next time.
Now the next area that we are going to be going to is your tent. In tent you can access your housekeeper which allows you to customize your room, manage your meow scenarios, manage your boat missions, manage your buddy dojos. And also in your house slash tent, you also have access to your item box where you can customize your item, manage your equipment. Now the last area that we are going to be going to is your buddy area, your buddy hub area. In this area, you can manage your buddies, you can hire additional buddies, you can manage your buddy adventures. Right here, this is the buddy scout. This is where you can hire your buddies. As you can see, throughout the progress of your game, the level of the buddies that you can hire are going to increase. You can hire them into your buddy group and you can send them on buddy adventures or trade missions. And this area over here is the buddy adventures. Basically, you send out your buddies into going on an adventure on their own, going on a quest of their own, and they bring you back items that you can pick up here. They are called Meowcenaries, but I call them Buddy Adventures because that's literally what is happening. You can select the groups that you want them to hunt or the places, that you, the things that you want them to farm, and they'll go on their own little adventures. Now, the last thing here is the ship. The trade request that you can send your buddy on to pick up certain items that you are requesting, they'll bring it back and you can collect the items here. If you collect more submarines, you can send out more buddies to collect more items for you passively. So hopefully this video helps you out. There's little things that you miss here and there, and every once in a while I'm still wandering around the village and I find something new out. So guys, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and also leave in the comments down below what is your favorite weapon. Once again, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.